kind of a mix, really. Um, a mix of uh, very pleased with a lot of, a lot of the things. Um, the effort, the togetherness that we showed, the ability to bounce back from a number of things that went wrong in the game was really good. A bit of frustration because having got ourselves um, into a situation where we have the elements in the second half um, and only a seven point deficit, it's probably something we'll look back on and be for sure that we couldn't do, have done better in the second half. Using bonus point, how do you feel that? Does that keep you very much in the mix? Do you feel that? I think so, yeah. It's probably out of our hands to a degree. Um, we need to win next week. Um, but we do know Munster have got a tough game against Racing um, in round five. Um, so there's there's definitely hope, and but it's very next week's huge for us, and we we have got to win next week. Brad, was that just unmanageable in the second half? The conditions. Um, it was very trying. Um, however, I think what Mark's alluded to is probably uh, pretty current in terms of both teams probably had two good try scoring opportunities. Uh, Munster took one, and, and sadly we didn't get either of ours. One at the end of the halfway through the first half, and then. We had various stages where we had territory in their 22 and you know I think in those conditions um, the skill execution and giving yourself variety becomes very difficult so you're almost trying to break down a brick wall um, and sadly obviously we, we, we spilled a few balls at crucial times and I think that's the difference on a big game like this it's the small moments that matter. How do you treat next week again Mark in terms of players and do you, do you rotate? Will you have guys available? Yeah, we'll, we'll rotate. Um, so some of the people who you haven't played today will, will play. Um, some of our non-internationals who have had a really busy um, eight weeks or so, and they'll, they'll get some rest. Um, we just got to try and manage our group as well as we can. We believe we've got a, a, a really competitive group of players um, and some of the experiences some of our younger players are getting. Um, especially in a great place like Thurman Park, you know, for young man who's going to pull to to play um, at fly half in a, in a game like today, it's going to be worth its weight in gold for someone like him. Big, uh, big miss early in the second half, that, that, that the second penalty goal and rebounding off the post yeah. mark. Is that critical? Yeah, I think those kind of things, like Brad's said, and um, I think Brad's right, it will be looking a little bit one dimensional in their 22 in that 10 or 15 minute period at the start of the half. But it had to be like that, and they defended as well. And we sp we spilled a couple of crystal balls. We lost a couple of important lineouts down down that end. And fair play to, to Monster because they, their their defensive lineout probably won them the game at the end. I think. Mark, have you seen much change in Monster this season? In influence, Peter Larkin, definitely more so perhaps yeah. in the first half than the second. Yeah, we have. Um, that's for sure. Um, in especially the racing performance. You know, that I know they would they would have been frustrated maybe if they're. they're the outcome of the round. Racing are a good team. Um, I thought they pulled me around very really well. There was difference from the monster team that we analysed last year to the monster team that we saw against Racing in some of their pro 14 games.